ones, Alessandro Brooks from Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm sharing with you guys the recipe for two different glass chips. One of them incorporating the flavors of dill pickles and the other one using some Asian inspired flavors where we're gonna be using some pickled Hunan peppers, peanuts and scallions. It's been a while now that I shared with you guys the recipe for my glass potato chips. This follow the same concept by incorporating different flavors in it, into it. This really opened the door for many possibilities and you can really get creative as far as the flavors you use. They are great chips that taste great, but they also make for a great garnish where you can really tie the flavors with the flavors on your dish. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. For the dill pickle chips, let's start by thinly slicing some small cornichon dill pickles. I'm also using some cross cuts for a different version. For the chips base, add 2 cups of water and 4 tablespoons of potato starch to a medium sized saucepan. And whisk it well to combine. Turn the heat on and cook it until the mixture turns into a gel. I'm dividing the gel since I'm making two different chip versions. To flavor the first one, I'm mixing the gel with the pickling juice from the cornichon pickles. Mix it well to combine, then spread spoons full of the mixture on a baking tray line with a non-stick silicone mat or parchment paper. Then, top each of the chips with a few slices of the pickles. And add some fresh dill. Cover the pickles with another thin layer of the gel. For a quicker option, I'm adding the cross-cut pickles and some chopped dill directly into the gel. Then, place it in a low temperature oven, 175 Fahrenheit, 79 Celsius, until completely dry, about 2 hours. For the second chip version, I'm starting by slicing some scallions. For this one, I'm mixing the gel with some Chinese Hunan peppers and their pickling juice.
Then I'm topping the chips with some roasted peanuts and the scallions. And in the oven it goes to dehydrate. Once the chips are completely dry, remove them from the oven. If the back side is still wet when removed from the mat, flip them and return to the oven a little longer. The chips can be served just like this, but by quickly frying them in a medium temperature oil, about 300 Fahrenheit, enhances the crispness and makes them more translucent and glass-like. The chips fry quickly. Once they start to pop, they're ready. If they puff up, the oil is too hot. The chips can be sprinkled with a little salt. I hope you have enjoyed this recipe and technique that I'm sharing with you, and I wish you get creative with it. Please don't forget to like it, leave a comment, and subscribe for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching.